And welcome back. Well, one of the hardest things about losing weight is just getting started. So today we called in a chef from the hit TV show to help with that. Yeah, Cheryl Forberg is a chef and nutritionist for The Biggest Loser. She's also a New York Times bestselling author of a dozen books about weight loss. This is her latest. It is called A Small Guide to Losing Big. And with her is Monty Morris, who's lost 48 pounds. He's here to share his secrets to getting in shape. Look at that. Great shot. Whole new person. Great to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So much. Sure You've right. actually been with The Biggest Loser since the beginning of the show, right? Season First one. season. Yeah. We're getting ready to uh, shoot the seven, the eighteenth season next year. Mm -hmm. Are, do you have a sense of pride about the, the the progress that so many of the contestants have been able to make? The commitment they've made to not just getting healthy but losing weight too. Absolutely. I feel like if I was this, if I had this much to do with the process, it's so gratifying. But they work really, really hard, as Monty can attest. Yeah. yeah. Before we get into your story a little bit, I think it's hard for people to break habits that they've been yes. in for a very long time and you really say that there's key triggers there's three key triggers and that's something that people can know when they start yes absolutely most people have absolutely no idea how many calories their body needs so mm -hmm. they tend to take in way too many and of course not exercise the second thing is uh we just a lot of people skip meals mm -hmm. and uh, breakfast especially, right? especially, especially breakfast yep. mm -hmm. and it doesn't promote weight loss it promotes weight gain because when you eat uh, too little uh, too often then when you do eat you eat too much too fast and you choose the wrong things and then the last thing is you have to prioritize your health and take care of yourself or you're not going to be around to take care of your loved ones so. well I think that's hard especially for moms I mean we always say this yes. but you're always your life is all about putting other people's needs ahead of your own and yeah. you're, you're almost you're you, you you're rewarded for that or praised for that Especially but the reality yeah mm -hmm. but you have to put yourself first in order to be good for them is what yes. I know you say yes. um, so Monty let's talk a little bit about your transformation 48 pounds how did you guys meet or, or kind of get to a point where, where Cheryl was helping you achieve your goals we actually met on a photo shoot a while back and we became friends and Cheryl is of course full of lots of helpful advice for not only losing weight but keeping it off uh, there are a lot of things that I do, like uh, eating your calories rather than drinking them. I used to drink mm -hmm. a lot of beer, and uh, I don't do any of that anymore, but uh, I do a lot of, I drink uh, uh, plenty of other things in their place. You mentioned <laughs> habits. Uh, we, I, I do a lot of replacement habits. Mm -hmm. uh, they're healthy things. Um, you know, a lot of water and then uh, things like tea and, and uh, sparkling drinks. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, I talk a lot about uh, snacking. Um, uh, we, we, um, uh, we, we develop new habits and then we stick with them mm -hmm. um, so that uh, we can maintain the weight. Yeah, you've kept it off for a year. Yeah, right? a little over a year actually. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I carry a lot of snacks with me and uh, that's one of the things that I do to, to kind of make sure it stays off. Yeah, mm -hmm. snacking is key. A lot yes. of people don't realize that, but having a healthy snack in between every meal um, with a little bit of protein and good fat uh, really helps to keep your hunger cues in check. Well, you brought some ways for us to swap out several yes. different things in our lives to make them healthier at home because this really does start at home too. Yes. And that's something I know, Monty, you believe in as well. It's that it's what's, what's your go-to in the fridge, what's your go-to in the cupboard, in the freezer. If you don't swap those out, it can really be a detriment, right? Absolutely. I, I eat a lot of whole foods. Mm -hmm. I decided I wanted to get back to kind of a natural diet, and so I eat a lot, a lot of whole things, a lot of nuts, a ton of nuts and uh, fruit, things that grow on their own and not a lot of additives. Um, pistachios are great. You have to do a little bit of work to get into them, and uh, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, the passenger seat of my car is filled with all sorts of snacks that are mm -hmm. whole natural snacks. Mm -hmm. Well, and you, that's your first swap out, Cheryl, exactly. is instead of grabbing that bag of chips, go for the pistachios. We love something crunchy. We love something salty. Mm -hmm. Tiffany loves That's chips. me. I'm a salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But instead, next time, reach for a handful of pistachios. They, they have uh, good fat, protein, fiber. They're very filling. And um, oh. they're loaded with a lot of different, with fiber and different nutrients. And they'll, they'll satisfy that craving. And you don't have to feel guilty about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like they've become so popular. Yes. Pistachios have that people are recognizing their nutritional value. Um, they're the, like the hottest nut. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like the hot new nut. Um, and Monty mentioned um, not uh, drinking your calories. I love this swap out because this yes. tastes good too. So instead of soda, yes. replace it with what? 
with uh, very low calorie drinks, and that's something we teach on the ranch is to mm -hmm. eat your calories with the exception of milk because people don't realize how quickly uh, the calories from soft drinks and frothy coffee drinks add up. So what we have here is just a little bit of cranberry juice with sparkling water and a lime, and it, it satisfies that craving for something uh, carbonated. Yeah, because you just want you that feel feeling good in the about back it. of your you throat. That fight. You know, yeah. right there. <laughs> exactly. Does that. You're right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then the next swap is to, fo to get rid of the white stuff, white flour, white sugar, white rice, white pasta, loaded with starch and calories, no nutrients, go for the whole grains. Mm -hmm. uh, here, if you want something uh, creamy like ice cream and sweet, instead, Greek yogurt has twice the protein of regular yogurt. It's loaded with calcium, and we've added some fruit and a nice sprinkle of pistachios here, and you've got the perfect snack. Mm -hmm. Really satisfying. Delicious. And, you know, a lot of people have a sweet tooth. I was talking yeah. about dark chocolate. Like, is that okay? Yes. And you said, yeah, probably, especially in moderation. But swap the, the candy and the sweets are really, I think, the, the sh how it affects your sugar, your uh, uh, blood sugar exactly. levels is a problem. And to Tiffany's point, you know, if you don't have it in the house, then you can't mm -hmm. make a bad decision. Gotta so get rid of it. having fresh fruit on hand and just learn to how to appreciate the sweetness of fruit instead of having uh, desserts. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's true. Um, and people can find your book where? Anywhere, Amazon, my website. Okay, wonderful. yeah, it's wonderful, and you've written a lot of great books about weight loss. This one is called A Small Guide to Losing Big. You can find it on Cheryl's website. Um, you can see it there, too. You can also look for it on Amazon. Great to meet you. Um, it's Congrats, really Monty. cool that you guys partnered Thank you up very much. and you've had so Thank much success. You. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun together. It's awesome. Thanks, Thanks you guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.